Negroponte is a well-known uh, investor, uh, having uh, had uh, early stage investments in many of the companies, uh, particularly in the digital space that we are all familiar with today. And as such, he is the recipient of our first award tonight. I'd like to invite him up to uh, say a few words. The United States spends $2 billion a week on war in Afghanistan, $2 billion. And we spend on education $2 million a week in Afghanistan. And um, that's USAID and so on. You look at the $2 billion and the $2 million, and you say to yourself, and I haven't had a chance to do this, but you say, let's say, Mr. President, all you need to do is move half of 1% from column A to column B, and every child in Afghanistan can have a connected laptop in 18 months. Karzai wants it, Petraeus wants it, McChrystal wanted it beforehand, why aren't we doing it? That would be a legacy that would actually change the world much more than what we're currently doing. Thank you very much. Time magazine proclaimed her the queen of the Middle Kingdom. The congressional record deemed her the de facto citizen ambassador. She is a Chinese-American woman uh, whose life straddles uh, the East and the West as an Emmy-winning television producer, a best-selling author, entrepreneur, and humanitarian. In 1986, the television series One World, produced and hosted uh, by Yu Sai Khan, aired on China's national television net network, CCTV. It gave millions of Chinese the first glimpse of the outside world and made her a household name in China. At that time, China had no consumerism, none. So, so I said, well, I had to be American. Now. So I said, well, okay, give me advertising time. You give me advertising time, I'm gonna get the advertising to help to support my television show. So I remember the first advertiser was Nestle. N imagine, Nestle was, was, was launching coffee in China. Coffee for a country, uh, people drink tea. <laughs> you know, I mean, and that was really very, very uh, amazing to me. And, and uh, go to the last job was, uh, really was an uh, uh, experiment. But after two weeks, <laughs> After two weeks of uh, the launch, uh, every drop was sold in, in China. And, that, and the television show was therefore the first, the first show on television in China that carried regular advertising. I was very honored and very happy when Louis Blanc asked me to introduce one of the greatest icons of American painting, the great Alex Katz here. The painting audience has uh gotten larger and larger and, and, it, and it's spread. And I think it's uh, just been a, been a terrific thing for all people. Painting um, uh, exists on, uh, to the public on, on many levels. I, I really think all museums should be free. I mean, art should be for everybody. It also it exists as uh, high class decoration. And uh, every painting made has a place in society, you know, if you, if you think about it. And I think society is much the better for it. He, uh, he is a remarkable man. He served from 1977 to 2008 as the director of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. That is quite an accomplishment. He was both the longest serving director in the institution's history and the longest serving director of any major art museum in the world. Cultural exchanges lead more often than not as the result perhaps of a number of rather and often superficial uh, temporal events of notoriety to more bemusement uh, than they do to um, understanding. And part of the reason for this is globalization has come so fast that it has short-circuited a whole element of education and preparation. Well, all we can do is reach out as many people that um, we can and to try to change this world because culture basically embeds values, belief, tradition, respect for the other, cult religion. Nothing can be done without all of you and all other people. It is not the governments that are going to be able to sustain that model. We need, as independent people, plus foundation, plus corporation, to get engaged. Thank you very, very much.